This week, there's no training happening in the training blog. It's a review of two bigger sessions this week. Uh, so the first session is going to be a back squat single. That happened on Wednesday. So I hit 215, um, just a very quick single session. And then on Friday, I finally hit 200 kilos in the front squat. So I'm absolutely delighted over that. This is like the end of a period of training now. And I have six weeks to go in my next block. Uh, so next week we'll see like a lot of introduction of tens. Next week's training vlog session is going to be a good one because so it's going to be a two a day. Similar to last week except I have a bit more volume in the squat session and it'll be a one mile run in the running session. So next week's one will have a lot of training in it. We'll try and have video of the training as well. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy today's videos with the review of both those sessions. So this session in terms of hitting the uh, hitting 215 was very, very quick. I think it took around 11 minutes to get from the finish of my general warm up to the 215 rep. This is the last warm up set, so I think this is 205. Just a very simple, uh, yeah, that is 205, I think. So this was on Wednesday of this week. As I said, I've kind of been tapering in uh, to hit some singles this week. This was the kind of last hurrah to hit some, some heavier weights before attacking some volume again in the last period before I do the kind of full testing. So this is 205. Very, very simple. This is the first time going over 200 kilos in a long time. I'd say probably around 14 months. Uh, so I'm very happy with that. Moving in for... For 215 then just a slightly wider camera angle so as i said the last one like 205 was the first time going over 200 kilos in a long time and um, 215 i was very very confident that in my head uh one change i've made since the weight's got a bit heavier is just moving the belt up higher so moving the belt from a very 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 low position like a classic kind of weightlifter-esque yeah. position um into a more powerlifting so kind of up midway up my stomach uh, yeah, and this is just an easy rep. As I said, this 11 minutes after the warm-up, just hitting some simple singles. This is like finishing off this period of training, uh, getting to a semi kind of peak, which makes me very, very confident of, uh, of the 230 I need to hit in a few weeks' time. Starting the front squat session then. So this is 180. Uh, yeah, this session is pretty okay. I was actually going to do the max front squat the day after the max back squat. I just wasn't feeling too fatigued at all, but the just the way it would work, it planned out. Things had to be delayed by an extra day. So as you saw in last week's session, uh, there's not too much kind of messing around in the warm up. The usual walking on the treadmill, some split squats, a bit of sit-ups, some upper back work. One change I was making in my front squats is like really, really uh, straightening out my upper back. So you'll see in some of the videos from the last few weeks that like my upper back can tend to round a small bit. So I've just really been focusing on that. Um, just standing there for a split second longer at the top before I do the squat and straightening out my upper back. Yeah, it was just a very easy signal at 180. Onto 190 then. So 190 have hit a good few times in the last few weeks now. The whole like genesis beside the front squatting or behind the front squatting um, during this kind of phase of training was my back squat's way ahead of where it needs to be for back squatting 230 in a few weeks. So I just went to front squat um, just to kind of sit in that holding pattern a bit longer. We have done 190 a lot of times in the last few weeks and this is just a, a pretty simple rep. It was by no means like flying up any better than the, the previous 190s, but I was pretty happy with it. Just trying to keep that upper back a small bit more straight. Small bit of a pause, just about parallel, but that's pretty standard when I'm not great at squatting. On to the meat and potatoes of it then. Uh, this is top single 200 kilos for a front squat. 
I'm not going to lie and say I'm not very, very happy about hitting this. Uh, they got in my first front squad ever when I was 14 in a changing room at a rugby club. So this has been a long time coming to try and hit a 200 kilo front squat. Uh, I was only talking to, to one of my friends today, just saying when I started like lifting in inverted commas uh, after I stopped playing rugby, I think it was around 20 when I started training at CrossFit Cork first. And on my first day there, I front squatted 130. Uh, I front squatted 135 a few weeks after. So those extra 65 kilos have taken a long time. Uh, eight years to, to build up. So I'm very, very happy with this. 200 kilos as a front squat is something I've I've kind of set as a goal for myself a good few times. Um, I'm very, very happy to, to have achieved it here. Putting on wrist straps purely because this is my like last shot at hitting this. I failed it a few weeks ago. Um as any of you who follow me on Instagram will know. Um and the fail like I didn't legitimately attempt to go for it. I didn't hold on to it too long, but I kinda of just made the decision that even if this wasn't good on the way up, I was just gonna grab onto it um and hold on it and try and grind it out. So I just said fuck it, race straps will help a bit. There definitely was a bit of a premature uh, celebration there, but literally as I as I passed parallel and I felt myself still moving, I was like, "Fuck yeah, I've definitely made this!" Uh, so I'm absolutely delighted. After the session, I did a good bit of running around there were in ten minutes, um, and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this week's training vlog. Uh, it's a bit different from usual, just the fact that it was kind of two reviews of just heavier squats. If you want to see like kind of daily updates on what training is like uh, throughout the week, just go and follow my Instagram. There's usually a video or two from, from each session goes up. And as I said, next week, there'll be some running and some actual training sessions in there. So thanks very much for watching.